I plan to spend Hell the next yeah. few days visiting around Sumeru City. At the end of my stay, I'll leave from Gandarvaville and return to Mondstadt via Liyue. Who knows? Perhaps we'll bump into each other again in Sumeru City or Gandarvaville. Hmm, I wonder if that means if you go to Sumeru City or Gandarvaville, you can actually find her. Hmm. Or, like, talk to her. Come to think of it. All right, well, I guess we gotta go I on with the quest, man. You two agreed to meet Gafur in Mount Iima Forest to talk about the Ley Line's research job. Feel free to leave if you want to go look for him. As for me, I think I'll spend a little more time at Puspa Cafe. Cutie, we meet again. Oh, really? I used to live in Sumeru City. And now that I'm back, I can't help but want to visit these small, remote shops. It's a pity that my old favorite clothing shop has already been closed for some time. I wanted to buy some accessories and clothes to give to the other ladies in the Knights of Favonius. Hmm, <sighs> what a pity. I was wondering when you would notice. Well, what do you think? It's always nice to hear compliments from other people, especially you. Thank you, cutie. I managed to find the owner of that old clothing shop and had it custom tailored. Wearing it reminds me of my days at the academia. Oh, what a busy time that was for me. However, my researchers were never lazy. Unlike the people who borrow books and don't return them. Now that I think of it, punishing them with a zap of Electro may have still been too lenient. shipment of items they're all so ridiculously over -designed. trust me just take my so word for it ah it's you cutie i knew we'd cross paths again oh just these painted utensils in this shop aren't they exquisite i'm thinking about buying some to take back for decoration and those plates if we serve tea on them jean wouldn't be able to resist even in the middle of work Oh, not for sale. Honestly, why put it in the shop if you don't intend to sell it? How disappointing. Oh, they're so beautiful, too. Studying is far less fun than making money. I'm super awesome! Hey, cutie. Are you here at the Grand Bazaar to catch some performances? Yes, they are quite amusing. I even wonder if I should start taking notes on the formats of some of the programs. Who knows? Perhaps it'll come in handy for the next Ludi Harpastum. Kaya could take charge of the jokes, but dancing might prove to be a little tricky. Yes, there was a lovely girl with red hair dancing yesterday. I had a front row seat. It was really something. I can't help but wonder how great it would be to see similar performances in Mondstadt. Actually, I think the biggest challenge would be to get Eula, captain of the reconnaissance company, to show some interest in dancing, as well as to find a beautiful outfit she would agree to wear. Eula is surprisingly gullible when it comes to certain things, 
Rather than inviting the performers to Mondstadt, it would be easier to trick, I, I mean, ask her to dance. around the academia actually I was just leaving I had a reunion with professor Cyrus and some fellow apprentices as well as other researchers that I worked with in the past how time flies I could tell just from their appearances that they've been really busy I on the other hand have had it pretty easy <laughs> they must be so jealous that being said, since I've already indulged so much, I should probably eat less cake next month. Its name is Sog? Oh, what a nice puppy. Of course. I love obedient puppies. Especially the ones that let you rub their belly and look at you with their little sparkling eyes. Actually, I've always wanted to get a dog. Not only could it help keep me in a good mood, but it could also intimidate others when need be. Huh. <sighs> but if I got a dog... It'd be too much hassle to groom it and clean up after it all the time. That's the trouble with pets. I suppose I'm not really suited to have one. So, uh, yeah. Let's see what these two have to say to each other. Don't worry, Lisa. I'm fine now. Hey, greetings. It's the Traveler. What you doing here? Nice to <laughs> here to see you, Kali, and we meet again, Lisa. Uh, yep, here to see you, Kali. Do you come to visit Kali often, cutie? She's amazing! All of us in Gondarverville already have a lot to thank her for. Kali and I are very good friends. Well then, it seems my little Kali has been making some new friends in Sumeru. <laughs> and I've been doing my best to learn how to read. Now I can even read some simple sentences. It's really cool that... Yeah, we see these characters first interact in the manga, and now they're, like, yeah, talking to each other now. It's... I just find that really cool. Master and everyone in Sumeru has taken good care of me. But I've never forgotten my friends in Mondstadt. I've actually been thinking about taking some time to go back for a visit. Hmm. You know, I think in 3.5, uh, we're gonna uh, get another Windbloom Festival, actually. So, hey, Kali visiting Windbloom, maybe? Maybe? Miss Lisa, how's everyone doing? Well, I hope. What about Amber? <laughs> and Kaya? Oh, and Jean? <laughs> Slow down, Kale. I'll tell you all about them. Sorry, darling. Seems I'll need some time here. I want to tell Kale about what's happening in Mondstadt. All right. I see everything. It's amazing how much the Traveler has grown. Okay. I wonder what the future she says the same thing as, as always, but what does Kali think? Aww. Why didn't Amber come? Nah. Of so, course. How should I ask Lisa about Amber? Uh, what should I do? Man, man, Kali really, really loves Amber. <laughs> I mean, for the stuff she did in the manga, of course. Of course she's gonna she's gonna like her. 